My name is Luke Danny Blue, and this is Seagoat Astrology's series, How to Woo a Blank. Um, and today we're on uh, number eight in the zodiac, which is Scorpio. And I'm basically just going to be giving you some super quick and easy tips and pointers for how to get a Scorpio to fall for you, to uh, go on a date with you, uh, to make out with you you know, whatever it is that you want to do with said sort of Scorpio. Um, I'm going to arm you with some, uh, some, some good practices. I'm going to tell you what you need to know about Scorpios before you get involved with one, what you need to show about yourself. And then finally, I'm going to give you a Scorpio dream date. So here's what you need to know about Scorpios. Scorpios have this crazy bad reputation that is kind of undeserved, but kind of deserved. Um, and I basically, uh, here's what's undeserved about it. The thing is, Scorpios are not evil. They're not like out to hurt you at all. Um, most Scorpios are really good people. And um, when they love, they love really deeply. So if they love you, they're, they're not like trying to hurt you. However, here's the thing about Scorpios. You are going to let the Scorpio hurt you. And that's how you're going to get so messed up by the Scorpio. So if you have a good relationship with the Scorpio, if you actually can get past step one, uh, get the Scorpio to go on a date with you and really get involved with them, you are going to get hurt. Um, and the reason is that uh, Scorpios are hella deep. Um, they are like, they're like deep and they will open up all of your depths. So if you're actually going to get involved with a Scorpio, you're going to bear your soul. And so it makes sense. You're going to get hurt. Even if the relationship works out, you're going to get hurt. You're probably going to get hurt many, many times. Um, but if you are someone who should be getting involved with a Scorpio, the prospect of that probably sounds like it's worth it. Um, the funny thing about Scorpios is they are super mild mannered on the surface. Um, they're some of the like least noticeable people ever. Um, they can just sort of like, you know, blend right in with a crowd. Um, they're amazing listeners. You'll find yourself telling them their, your whole life story without even realizing it. Um, and they just ask really good questions. And the thing is, they're paying so much attention that you kind of want to open up with them. Might take you a while to realize that the Scorpio knows everything about you and you know very little about the Scorpio. Um, and in fact, it takes the Scorpios a lot of work to trust. So that Scorpio might not be willing to tell you about themselves until like way further down the line. Um, another kind of myth about Scorpios is that they're sex crazed, but that one is actually true. Uh, so um, they're essentially, Scorpios are like addicted to every kind of intensity. They just want to live life to the hilt. They want to like experience everything fully and Essentially, Scorpios are going through life with so much emotional energy that any intense physical experience is also intensely emotional for them. So, of course, sex is the place that they feel the most intensely emotional um, and most intensely connected, and so they love it. Um, and they are really, really hot in bed, sometimes a little scary, but really hot. Um, so here's what you need to show about yourself. Scorpios are not easy. Um, it's not, it's not really like, I would say this is one of the harder signs to get to kind of go for you. Um, what, the first thing that you need to show with Scorpios is that you have hidden depths. A Scorpio does not want someone that they can understand right away. Um, that doesn't mean you should lie. Um, and in fact, here's a quote from a real life Scorpio. Don't bother lying to me. Like, total waste of your time, boo. Hashtag, I already know. Um, that's pretty much accurate for all Scorpios. Don't lie to them. They see through everything. Um, but do tell them a secret you've never told anyone before. Uh, it also helps to be a little bit hard to get, have some other stuff going on, um, or just live really far away. And basically, uh, you need a little bit you don't need to be a wild person, but you need to be wild with the Scorpio. Scorpios are actually kind of game for whatever, um, as long as it's intense. And you need to show that you're kind of that you're game for whatever when you're with them. Um, and finally, here's a Scorpio dream date. Uh, the best thing you can do. Scorpios love watching people in states of transformation. 
Um, they love watching us uh, move through crisis and kind of become someone different. And that's really like, that's it, it's like it makes them high. Um, and so if you want to make a Scorpio fall for you, think of the thing that like scares you most, but that you've always wanted to do and go do it with a Scorpio, whether it's like, uh, you know, skydiving or trespassing or having sex in an airport bathroom or even just like reading at an open mic, scare the crap out of yourself and the Scorpio will totally fall for you head over heels. Um, that's it for Scorpio. Uh, hopefully that's cleared up some myths and maybe made you a little less afraid in some ways and perhaps a little more afraid in others. That's a good thing if you're going for a Scorpio. Um, next time I'm going to be doing Sagittarius. So, uh, you can follow the link on the video to get to the video for Sagittarius and find out why these guys are like the most sloppy, messy fun you're ever going to have. Um, and, uh, you can also hit the subscribe button. And if you want to hear more, read, read or see more fun, funny astrology stuff, learn more about perhaps the reasons you shouldn't date a Scorpio, head over to my website, www.seagoatastrology.com, and you can find a whole bunch more stuff on every sign. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.